Stop Caring, Start Getting. Written and published by N Gas Life. We all care deeply. We are concerned about others' opinions of us, seeking approval and validation and striving to meet expectations of success. This ongoing concern is limiting our progress. It causes anxiety, a fear of taking risks, and a strong desire for validation. We often get caught up in things we can't control, which leads to feeling paralyzed by fear of rejection and failure. Stop caring. Start Getting teaches you a different way to achieve your goals by caring less. This book offers philosophical insights and practical tools to assist you in detaching emotionally, reducing overthinking and cultivating an abundance mentality for taking decisive action. You will discover insights from Stoic philosophy, Eastern wisdom, and modern psychology that argue excessive caring is a key factor in many mental obstacles preventing people from achieving their goals. By mastering the technique of detached nonchalance presented here, you will develop the ability to confidently express your true self, take calculated risks, navigate through challenging situations, and recover swiftly from setbacks. This book was created for high achievers who are used to giving their all, to assist them in letting go of excessive concern. Our goal is to offer insights and techniques to help you overcome obstacles and achieve your desires. This method has proven to be highly effective for numerous people. Discover if it can work for you as well. Lesson 1. The problem with caring too much. We all know people who appear to be overly concerned about their reputation, about being popular, about satisfying others. Although caring is a natural human quality, excessive caring can lead to issues and self-sabotage. People who are overly concerned often struggle with social anxiety, perfectionism, and a strong desire for validation. They struggle with being assertive, establishing healthy boundaries, and dealing with discomfort. Everything is crucial. The main problem is that some people tie their self-esteem to external factors beyond their control, such as seeking validation from others, avoiding failure, and fearing rejection. This grants significant power to others, leading caregivers to behave in ways that are insecure, ultimately restricting their confidence and potential. When faced with criticism, dislike, or disapproval, their emotional stability is at risk, leading to overthinking about their mistakes. Those who care too much often have a mindset of lack when it comes to love, attention, and success. They think there isn't enough for everyone, so they feel the need to stress and compete for what they deserve. They lack the mental capacity to deal with setbacks and failures in a graceful manner. Therefore, they are constantly worried about losing their possessions or not being able to acquire more. This stress and worry greatly impact their health. To find a solution, one must practice a healthy detachment from outcomes that cannot be controlled, caring less about external opinions, perfection, and rejection. It's important to prioritize self-worth and independence so that approval and successes are seen as bonuses rather than necessities. True freedom is found by focusing on your own journey and not getting caught up in others' opinions. We reside in a society fixated on the personal lives of others. Social media displays idealized versions of others enjoying their lives. Chats mainly revolve around gossip and comparing. Comparing ourselves to these carefully crafted versions of reality can lead to feelings of anxiety and depression, causing us to lose focus on our individual journey. Real freedom is achieved when we no longer waste mental energy comparing ourselves to others. Focusing on our core values, passions, and next steps is more important than seeking approval and validation from others. Life is meant to be lived on your own terms, so comparing is pointless. There isn't a single right place to be, so there's no need to stress about being ahead or behind. 
Comparing oneself to others can either boost self-esteem or diminish self-confidence when creating artificial distinctions between winners and losers. Life is enriched when you focus on being present and finding contentment in your current circumstances rather than constantly seeking something more. It's easy to overlook the excitement in your own life when you're busy comparing it to others. Explore the amazing things that are already in your surroundings. Explain the meaning of fulfillment based on your own perspective rather than societal norms. It's up to you to choose the criteria that give your day's purpose. You have the freedom to establish your own pace without feeling guilty or ashamed. Exploring your inner world and purpose is a unique journey that only you can take. Allow yourself to disregard external pressures that dictate who you should be and focus on understanding your true self. Focus on your inner journey and tune out external distractions. Life is beckoning you to embrace it completely, no matter how others choose to live. Lesson 2. Get everything you want by not caring. It may seem counterintuitive. How could being indifferent result in achieving more of your desires? That is the paradoxical route to freedom and fulfillment. Overthinking others' opinions, constantly seeking approval, evading rejection, and stressing over uncontrollable factors can result in self-sabotage. Feeling anxious and unworthy, overanalyzing, procrastinating, and trying to please, everyone can be overwhelming. Ultimately, you end up losing your sense of self and becoming unable to pursue your dreams. The solution is to simply not worry about things that are not important. Focus on your personal development and making a positive impact rather than seeking recognition or prestige. Start by prioritizing self-acceptance and view validation from others as a bonus, not a requirement. Build your self-esteem to rely on yourself for confidence instead of others. I value earning respect over being universally liked. Place a higher importance on your time and priorities, rather than shallow connections. Learn to detach from outcomes while fully focusing on the present action. Choose to be lighthearted and focused instead of overly worried. Try not to take feedback too personally and don't be too hard on yourself for failures. View them as data points that provide helpful feedback rather than judgments of your worth. Achieve everything you desire by being fully present in each moment without worrying about meeting expectations or material results. Focus on the impact you can have without seeking recognition for it. Strategic nonchalance mixed with presence leads to inner peace and external success. It's a challenging loop. Anxiety causes errors, which in turn increase anxiety and the cycle continues. Stressed minds can become overwhelmed quickly, leading to difficulties in thinking clearly and making sound decisions. Feeling worried, inadequate, or stressed can impact cognitive function. Your ability to remember things and make decisions may decline. Anxiety can limit your perspective and make it difficult to think about the outcomes. It can cloud your judgment on risk, leading you to either freeze up or rush ahead recklessly without preparation or forethought. Important warning signs and communication signals are being overlooked. When feeling anxious, the prefrontal cortex is overshadowed by emotional centers like the amygdala in processing information. Acting on impulse can sometimes override rational decision-making. Moreover, Anxiety may also show up physically through symptoms like elevated heart rate, tense muscles, sweaty palms, and dizziness, all of which can impact performance negatively. Rapid breathing alters the CO2 levels in your brain, making it more difficult to concentrate. Panic attacks can be very debilitating, causing intense mental confusion and physical symptoms that may resemble serious health issues. To avoid anxiety-related errors, focus on controlling stress by getting enough sleep, eating well, practicing mindfulness, and maintaining positive social relationships, establishing regular schedules, making lists, and setting reminders can assist with cognitive function.
Intentionally slowing down, breathing deeply, and decreasing stimulation are other helpful strategies during anxious moments. Anxiety disorders can cause your brain to become dysfunctional, making it difficult to trust it completely. Getting treatment and improving resilience through lifestyle are essential. Take it easy on yourself. Lower your expectations and limit your exposure until you develop stronger emotional regulation skills. Errors can be turned into opportunities for growth instead of being used against us. Lily always tried to do too much. Being the best student, making her parents happy, and getting into a good college were all very important to her. To get perfect scores, Lily studied late into the night. She did all the additional activities she could to get into the school she wanted. Lily became anxious, lonely, and cut off from her true interests during this time. She was always stressed out and tired. Lily understood that she had lost sight of what she wanted for her own life because she was so focused on what other people thought of her. Lily chose to stop worrying so much about things she couldn't change. She accepted that she was not perfect and could not make everyone happy. She stopped caring what other people thought about the colleges she chose. Lily worked on making her own dreams come true instead. Lily stopped trying to please everyone and be perfect by not caring as much. She gave up some things she didn't really enjoy to spend more time doing photography, which was her secret love. Lily worked harder to take better care of her mental health. Lily was able to get everything she wanted after she changed how she felt. It was easy for her to get into a great college. She got old friends back together. Lily was able to describe success in her own way, which was the most important thing. She found that caring less made room for the life she really wanted, but had been afraid to go after. Lesson 3. Stop being so emotionally invested. When we care deeply, we often become too emotionally attached to things beyond our control such as others' opinions. Seeking external approval, evading rejection, and fretting about the future. We often rely on unpredictable results to determine our mental well-being, making our happiness vulnerable to external factors. When you are highly emotionally invested, you end up losing your control. Becoming overly fixated on certain outcomes can lead you to tie your self-worth and security to them. This limits your capacity to adapt to challenges. It can lead to feelings of desperation, control, and neurosis. You focus on managing how others see you, instead of embracing your own sense of freedom. One way to address this issue is to avoid relying on external sources for your self-worth. Let go of unrealistic expectations filled with dramatic reactions. Learn to accept yourself, regardless of outcomes or others' reactions or others' reactions. Develop a strong foundation in your values to navigate challenges with grace. Allow your preferences to guide your decisions without allowing outcomes to disrupt your inner peace. Strive to remain indifferent when it comes to receiving recognition or avoiding negative feedback. Focus on delivering high-quality work without seeking recognition or incentives to feel complete. Strive to live according to values that resonate with your true self. Shifting emotional investment from external sources to internal ones can help reduce anxiety. You have the power to narrate the story of your life once again. We all desire to feel acknowledged, valued, and appreciated. Relying on validation from others for our self-worth can lead to feeling powerless and constantly insecure. It bases our identity on external judgments rather than our own inner guidance. This implies that our happiness is based on external circumstances always being exactly as we want them to be. Feeling the need for validation suggests a lack of confidence in your own experiences and judgments. You naturally hide aspects of yourself to seek acceptance. This leads to anxiety from always doubting what others expect and feeling tired from pretending to be someone you're not. Real confidence is achieved when you stop looking for approval in every situation. Your value originates from within, not from external validation. 
You lead your life according to your own standards, following your inner guidance on what feels true to you. You no longer seek constant reassurance when you stop doubting your perceptions and decisions. Discover how to validate yourself by living in alignment with your values, rather than conforming to societal norms. Those who are genuine will value you for being yourself. If not, it won't matter because their approval no longer affects how you see yourself. Validation begins and concludes with your connection to your innermost self. People who constantly strive to please others end up feeling overwhelmed by the pressure to always make everyone happy. They tend to take on too much and create expectations that are not realistic in their pursuit of validation. They conceal emotions, downplay requirements, and distort choices to prevent upsetting others. However, refusing to be true to oneself does not result in a strong connection. Compulsive people. Pleasing stems from the mistaken belief that one must constantly serve others to gain acceptance and love. You think love depends on certain conditions rather than being unconditional. However, those who only care for you under certain conditions may not truly have your best interests at heart. Satisfying these people will ultimately harm your self-confidence and personal limits in the long run. Discover how to establish clear priorities and boundaries that focus on taking care of yourself rather than others. Express your emotions and requirements in a thoughtful and considerate manner. You have no control over how others react but you can choose to be honest and respectful in your interactions. Relationships that are suitable for you will allow for mutual authenticity to develop. Authentic belonging stems from embracing your true self rather than conforming to others' expectations. This encourages others to be more open, fostering deeper connections. By releasing over accommodation and confidently asserting your needs, intimacy will naturally develop. Lesson 4. Why being overly emotional cannot win the game of life. Feelings are important, but letting them take over can hinder achievement. Intense emotions can affect decision-making, self-control, and logical thinking. Strong emotions like anger, fear, anxiety, or excitement may cause you to react excessively. Take things too personally, focus on just one point of view, and overlook the broader context. Experiencing strong emotions can deplete your mental energy. Focusing solely on external results can drain your energy and hinder your ability to take meaningful action. Drama hinders creativity. You often find yourself focused on others' opinions of you rather than on your own creative desires. Constantly seeking validation can be exhausting. Moving forward necessitates a degree of detachment to maintain concentration. People who are overly emotional often believe that there is a limited amount of love, affirmation, or resources available. They become envious, measure themselves against others compete for recognition and lack trust in working together. Life is not about winning or losing. There is plenty for those who remain positive. It's crucial to master emotions because a lack of emotional regulation can lead to instability despite having a clear vision. Plans are often disrupted. Opportunities can seem intimidating. Failure can be more devastating than educational. Success can be just as unsettling as rejection. Keeping a calm and balanced mindset is crucial. Living life involves pursuing your dreams without holding on or pulling back. Dealing with uncertainty is necessary for making progress. Playing with unwavering confidence no matter the score. Focus on enjoying the journey instead of fixating on the end result. This sustainable mindset comes from handling feelings responsibly rather than letting feelings control you. Living fully means moving towards your biggest dreams with an open hand, not a closed fist. It involves embracing growth while letting go of specific expectations regarding its appearance, agreeing to answer calls while embracing the unknown surrounding success. 
acting decisively without requiring complete assurance. Clutching onto a specific outcome can hinder advancement. Life is a result of your perspective, whether it happens to you or through you. Truly, you are the one shaping your own future. Accomplishing tasks requires bold vision directing energy towards opportunities. Achieving dreams requires more than just hoping for them. It involves actively nurturing them. Dreams follow a certain rhythm and timing that demand belief in their future fulfillment. Interrupting the process hinders natural development. Artificial pressure results in burnout. Success is achieved through careful pruning, accepting the natural cycles, and staying focused on daily efforts rather than fixating on the end result. Continue moving forward without the need to reach a specific deadline. Chasing dreams is like embarking on a journey without a visible guide. Unexpected surprises are certain. Discover the magic of embracing every phase fully, from excitement and doubt to giving up, gaining wisdom and facing heartache. Everything contributes to the story you are crafting. To avoid regrets, keep saying yes and learn to let go. Believe in your dreams and make them a reality. Jay has always shown his feelings by wearing them on his shirt. He really cared about everything and everyone in his life. Jay's friends liked how passionate and honest he was. But Jay's sensitivity often got the best of him. Small things that upset him made him think too much and feel sad. He took negative comments very personally because he thought it meant he was bad at what he did. Jay's feelings got in the way of his self-confidence and ability to make decisions. Jay couldn't decide which college to go to because he was so afraid of making the wrong choice. He couldn't sleep at night because he was so focused on researching his choices instead of acting on the applications. Jay missed important dates and had to put off going to school for a year. Jay understood he needed to keep his emotions in check and use logic to move forward after this wake-up call. He started using methods to calm himself down when he was feeling down and using logic to calm his anxious thoughts. Jay learned to tell the difference between constructive criticism and attacks on his worth. Jay stopped letting his feelings control his decisions and sense of self-worth over time. He saw his feelings as information, not fate. Jay's confidence grew as he added perspective to his zeal. When problems came up later in relationships and at work, Jay handled them with maturity. He knew that upset feelings were real and could still act in a sensible way. Jay understood that the key to success was to control his sensitive side instead of trying to hide it. He learned how to win the game of life by becoming more self-aware and skilled. Lesson 5 how to practice detachment. Detachment involves calmly acknowledging things beyond your control and taking action on what you can affect. It requires managing emotions regardless of outside circumstances or others' actions. Practicing detachment helps you cultivate inner peace during uncertain times and establish healthy boundaries. Begin by pinpointing the areas where you feel engaged what factors typically influence your mood and self-perception? Pay attention to the narratives you create about the necessity of specific outcomes for your happiness or success. Let go of the need for life to go a specific way. Remember that your worth is not determined by outcomes. Remember that you are capable of overcoming challenges with resilience. Avoid fixating on hypothetical worst-case outcomes. Concentrate on what you can do now rather than worrying about what might happen later. Focus on staying in the moment and not getting distracted by other thoughts. View the world and others as they truly are, rather than how you desire them to be. It's important to acknowledge that you have control over yourself, not others. Avoid making things too personal when interpreting others' words and actions. They operate based on their unique contexts, personal narratives and constraints. Remember, you are accountable for your actions. Practice observing your emotions, stories, and urges mindfully without reacting or getting attached to them. Emotions and thoughts may fluctuate, but your core self remains unaffected by outside influences. In the present moment, 
you can always choose peace over drama. As you strengthen this muscle, it becomes simpler to remain centered while the world continue to move around you. Balancing active participation with inner calm allows you to move effectively while staying grounded. Detachment is often mistaken for indifference, but when practiced correctly, it can lead to empowerment. Unhealthy detachment shows up as avoiding, denying, or feeling complete apathy. Healthy detachment involves caring deeply about your personal growth and impact while not being overly attached to specific outcomes. Pinpoint where you are getting stuck to make progress. What typically affects your mood, self, perception, and drive. Provide more specific details about your anxiety. List the core stories as follows. I need this achievement to prove my talent, my worth depends on people liking me, and so on. Identify attachments that diminish personal empowerment. Let go of the need for life to unfold in a specific manner. Acknowledge your emotional well-being regardless of any specific result. Focus on embracing your true self rather than seeking approval from others. Enhance your capacity to manage discomfort. Let go of controlling thoughts. Prefer what you value over what you need. Embrace growth opportunities with enthusiasm and openness rather than seeking security with closed fists. Pursue your dreams without needing any assurances. Don't stress about meeting specific goals on strict schedules. Progress happens naturally when you act without trying to force life to meet your expectations. Valuing actions that align with personal beliefs and accepting outcomes with a sense of calm is important for healthy detachment. Embrace the unknown. Remain focused on the present moment to make the best decision, even if you can't see the entire path ahead. Acting decisively without requiring complete assurance paves the way for miracles to occur. Trust in what you can't see, not just what you can. Lesson 6. Focus on what you can control. Life is full of factors beyond our control such as other people's opinions and actions, external events, the past and the future. Where we choose to direct our attention, whether towards ourselves or external factors, greatly influences our mindset and outcomes. Understanding what you can control is grounding and freeing. Controlling your inner state involves managing thoughts, emotions, priorities, attitudes, values, and beliefs. This involves consistently connecting with your inner self instead of being distracted by unnecessary distractions. Don't give up control over who you are or waste energy trying to control people and situations beyond your control. Embrace your ability to respond effectively. Take a moment during challenging times to intentionally select thoughts and behaviors that reflect your best self. Develop the ability to control impulsive reactions and anxious thoughts. Address concerns and future plans to achieve goals. Swap minor disagreements for artistic authority. Additionally, prioritize managing input quality and the flow of information. Choose carefully what you consume and discuss. Avoid unnecessary distractions and avoid comparing. Enhance your mental well-being by engaging in reading self-reflection and spending time in nature. Inputting low-quality information will result in low-quality output, which remains accurate from a neurological perspective. Finally, shape outcomes by taking control of your daily choices and actions. Consume healthy foods, exercise purposefully, communicate positively. Invest in developing yourself, make life simpler and more organized. Consistent effort can lead to significant results over time. Destiny comes into being by concentrating on the things within your control. Lesson 7. Set boundaries with people. Establishing clear boundaries is crucial for maintaining overall well-being and fostering positive relationships. Establishing boundaries creates a structure for showing care, respect, and personal autonomy. Lacking clear boundaries can lead to draining emotional resources, causing frustration and hindering effective communication of our needs. 
Begin by recognizing scenarios where having firmer boundaries would benefit you. Identify situations or people where you often experience feelings of disrespect, being taken advantage of, resentment, guilt, or difficulty setting boundaries. Examples that many people can relate to are taking on too much at work, dealing with criticism from family members, and overlooking warning signs in romantic relationships. Next, determine what you will no longer tolerate and what you need to feel secure and at ease. This may involve establishing communication guidelines, setting financial limits, and limiting unsolicited advice and emotional dumping. When setting boundaries with others, try to communicate directly and compassionately without resorting to personal attacks or passive aggression. Clearly communicate your personal boundaries without trying to control the other person. What really shows healthy boundaries is maintaining them consistently by following through. Implement consequences when people persist in disregarding clearly set boundaries. Set boundaries by limiting time and interactions with people who do not respect them. To teach others how to treat you, you must demonstrate self-respect by setting and maintaining boundaries. Feeling uncomfortable can bring out our strongest dislikes and anxieties. We desire the certainty and safety that comfort offers as a reflex for evolutionary protection. Avoiding life's unavoidable challenges can result in boredom, lack of progress, missed chances, and remorse. Real progress starts beyond the comfortable boundaries of what we know. Approach challenges with brave curiosity instead of instinctive avoidance. Struggling a bit shows you're pushing your limits, exploring new viewpoints, and improving your motivation to achieve bigger goals. Embrace temporary stress as a catalyst for reaching your next level rather than a setback that hinders your dreams. Explore the unfamiliar by uncovering beliefs that may be holding you back from dealing with uncertainty or criticism. Exchange negative thoughts for a strong identity that can confidently handle difficult times by making mindset adjustments when necessary. Release any fantasies of being in control. Have faith in your ability to maintain inner peace, no matter what's happening around you. Anticipate changes and then embrace the natural flow of life, understanding that everything is temporary. Dealing with challenges today can pave the way for success tomorrow if approached with mindfulness. Switch between periods of intense work and relaxation to avoid physical, mental, or emotional exhaustion. Challenges come with progress, but staying determined uncovers more possibilities. Embrace the ups and downs without losing sight of your goals or seeking constant reassurance before moving forward. By consistently practicing resilience and gratitude, you develop the ability to maintain ambitious goals and face new opportunities with confidence. Lesson 8. Believe that all your needs and wants are met by the universe. Many times, we tend to think in terms of scarcity, believing that there isn't sufficient support, resources, or love available to fulfill our needs and achieve our dreams. We often feel the need to compete and struggle to secure what we deserve. We reside in a universe abundant with opportunities for those who are open to receiving. Transition from a mindset of scarcity to one of abundance by developing trust in the boundless resources provided by spiritual sources. When one door closes, believe that better opportunities are on the way. Let go of limited expectations for how dreams should come true. Prepare for unexpected blessings to come at unexpected times. There are always plenty of channels available if you believe in abundant provision. Universal supply relies on your ability to claim empowered partnership. You attract the physical manifestation of your dreams by taking bold action, having a clear vision, and elevating your energy. Clarify your desires, take inspired action, and create space for manifestation to align with divine timing. Appear without the need to control the timing or manner in which perfect opportunities come. Move intentionally while releasing worry, understanding that paths will always lead to desired goals. 
Anxiety can hinder progress, but having confidence and staying relaxed can help you attract the right people, opportunities, and resources. Listen to your instincts when they guide you towards unexpected connections. Embrace unexpected invitations. Just relax and let the magic surprise you. You deserve to receive all your heart's desires abundantly at this moment. You have access to a constant stream of ideas, emotional support, material resources, loving encouragement, and steps to make your dreams a reality. Just open and enjoy. Thinking too much hinders progress and leads to anxiety, procrastination, and analysis paralysis. When you find yourself stuck in a cycle of problems, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and come up with excuses to delay addressing them. Meanwhile, dreams remain in a state of abstraction while courage is deflated by hypothetical worst-case scenarios. Meaningful action is replaced by stillness. Find yourself getting caught up in unproductive thought patterns. Avoid overanalyzing past conversations and events for hidden meanings. Overthinking can cloud your mind and hesitating to make decisions out of fear can hinder your progress. To find the solution, shift from overthinking to taking straightforward actions that match your goals. Imperfect movement leads to progress while waiting for sure steps can hold you back. Exchange some processing for experimenting. Experiment with and make adjustments rather than striving for perfection. Focus on generating outcomes rather than analyzing concepts. Take action on a small task using the resources you have now instead of constantly getting ready for the future. Develop your skills gradually by gaining practical experience. Remain adaptable to handle unexpected obstacles. Engaging in actions without careful planning can also lead to issues. Discover the perfect equilibrium between intention and intervention. Take your visions and turn them into reality by taking small steps consistently. Consistent effort leads to continuous progress. Amit felt like he was stuck in his job. He was worn out from running the family shop for long hours and not getting paid much. One of Amit's dreams was to become a photographer and see the whole world. The trouble was that dream didn't seem possible. Amit didn't have the money or contacts to start a new job. He had doubts every time he tried to make a plan. It's too risky to change paths now. You don't have the skills to succeed. Amit chose to change his mind one day. Instead of seeing lack and limits, he decided to think that the universe was behind his dreams. Concerns came up, but he told himself that he had faith that doors would open at the right time. Amit began by taking small steps. On the weekends, he worked on his photography portfolio and made connections with other trip photographers online. Instead of worrying about how his goals would come true, he focused on enjoying the process. Within a month, Amit was asked by a family friend to do photography for the global marketing campaigns of her business. This helped Amit get training and money for his new job. The universe brought Amit the tools, people and chances he needed to make his needs and wants come true, because he believed in plenty of options instead of a lack of them. He understood that big dreams need big faith. Everything you get is shaped by what you believe. Lesson 9. Be unapologetically yourself. Many times we bend ourselves to fit into specific roles and fulfill the expectations of others, sacrificing our ability to express ourselves. We adjust quirks, reduce needs, suppress feelings, and conform to gain approval. However, the paradox lies in the fact that the more you change yourself to satisfy others, the more you experience emptiness and insecurity. Being true to yourself is the solution. Let go of the need to explain your individual way of thinking. Let go of trying to please everyone and focus on making choices that align with your core values and personality. Listen to your genuine desires without seeking approval from others. 
Be genuine and open instead of attempting to show off or hide certain aspects. Allow the right people to truly appreciate your authentic self instead of trying to please those who want you to hide your strengths and weaknesses. Express your truth clearly without seeking validation. Combine courage and vulnerability to attract your community. Travel through life following your inner wisdom rather than external distractions. Build your identity based on your own sense of completeness rather than relying on external labels. Focus on living freely rather than being concerned about what others think. You were born inherently worthy without needing to prove yourself through actions. Make choices that celebrate your diverse humanity, not restrictive norms. Direct your unique talents and eccentricities towards creating your own special impact. Life's journey is about embracing your unique self and not conforming to others. Become a revolutionary by boldly celebrating your unique greatness. We often exhaust ourselves and feel anxious as we strive to manage how others see us. Seek validation and steer clear of disapproval. Our mood and motivation are heavily influenced by the opinions of others. Seeking validation often leads to sacrificing authenticity. Amid trying to make others happy, we often overlook the crucial duty of staying true to ourselves. However, even with optimal likability, you cannot dictate how others will react. People tend to interpret things based on their own feelings and perspectives, regardless of your actions or words. Even the most popular figures in the world face criticism and controversy in their lives. Personalities and perspectives vary too much for universal harmony to be achieved. Instead of seeking approval, spend time delving into your interests, goals, and the next steps to develop your talents. Instead of trying to blend in, be brave enough to embrace all aspects of your humanity. Those who truly care about you will wholeheartedly celebrate your true self without any strings attached. At the end of their life, no one regrets not focusing more on others' opinions or seeking validation on social media. However, numerous people regret expending valuable energy by conforming to others' expectations instead of wholeheartedly following their true calling. Life is too short for such nonsense. True belonging starts from within by believing in yourself just as you are. Base your decisions on your values, not on what others think. Direct your attention towards personal development and making a positive impact on others. In the end, what truly counts is your connection with your innermost self. Lesson 10. Ignore people who believe they understand you more than yourself. We often come across people who believe they have a better understanding of what is best for us than we do. Advice on significant life choices from friends, family, or strangers can be more triggering than helpful. What they claim to be wise often reveals more about their own restrictions than our circumstances. This kind of arrogant assumption appears in various situations, from a date who believes your sexual orientation will change, to a colleague who dismisses your experience of discrimination at work, to a relative who thinks they know your dream career better than you do. Some people may try to rewrite your experiences to fit their own views, which can come across as insensitive. But your inner world is best understood by you. Your past, personality, passions, pain, and purpose all contribute to a complex context that may be difficult to fully understand from an external perspective. Respect your inner world. Take ownership of being the ultimate authority on your own truths instead of letting others take control or dismiss them. Make sure to consult with people who prioritize and value your boundaries and perspective. Be cautious of unsolicited advice, trying to mold you into fitting in rather than pursuing your dreams. Take control of your journey without constantly seeking approval from others. Making progress often means focusing on examining yourself thoroughly rather than paying too much attention to outside opinions that may not understand your unique qualities and situation. Trust your inner guidance. When someone hurts us, our natural reaction is to want to get back at them or seek revenge to show strength. 
For people who are driven by pride, seeking revenge may appear as the sole method to regain respect, teach others a lesson, and restore their reputation. Reactive attacking indicates emotional immaturity rather than mental strength. Retaliation often leads to increased conflict instead of addressing the main problems. Engaging in arguments only leads to increased hostility without anyone taking responsibility. When resorting to personal attacks and knee-jerk responses, everyone ends up tarnished and trust and honesty suffer. Understanding that reacting angrily gives away personal authority to whatever triggered you is a sign of true power. Responding with grace and dignity shows emotional strength, not vulnerability. Intelligent people understand the value of staying above the fray and not getting involved in unnecessary conflicts. Strength of character is most evident when faced with unfair challenges. Choosing understanding over retaliation flips the script on attempts to hurt you. Anger can be debilitating, but empathy and setting boundaries can be empowering. Seeking revenge might provide temporary satisfaction, but it can ultimately damage your reputation and inner peace in the long run. People with strong character do not seek validation or demand respect through threats when they feel disrespected. They choose to focus on positivity and progress rather than getting caught up in negativity. You don't have to seek validation from others when you live purposefully with integrity, which will naturally overcome any detractors. Lesson 11. Always remain kind, regardless of someone else's actions. When someone hurts us, our natural response is usually to retaliate with vengeance by spreading rumors or engaging in smear campaigns. If tensions escalate over time, we may justify mistreating others as a form of deserved retaliation for past mistreatment. Choosing to respond with continued kindness instead of seeking revenge is ultimately the most beneficial approach. On the surface, the reasons for seeking vengeance seem compelling. Self-defense, educating others, preventing future harm, and finding peace through taking action. Reacting out of hurt, even if it feels justified, only adds fuel to the fire instead of addressing the underlying problems. Engaging in personal attacks diminishes your integrity, regardless of who initiated it. Instead, commit to always leading with kindness, regardless of any negativity you may encounter. Establish boundaries without being hostile. Be kind while also maintaining your inner calm. Refrain from giving in to emotional reactions in order to teach a lesson or publicly shame others. Causing harm to others will not heal your own pain. Elevate yourself by choosing the path of integrity. Forgiveness shows empathy towards the fact that their hurtful actions may stem from unresolved issues or constraints that go beyond the present moment. Share your blessings with them. If the relationship becomes harmful, it's best to walk away peacefully without holding grudges or saying hurtful things. Responding to others' hostility with understanding, modesty, and composure helps ease conflicts, foster connections, and enables you to maintain your dignity. Being kind during conflicts may not come naturally, but showing unconditional goodwill can positively impact relationships, spirit, and destiny. Start with love. Spread kindness to heal the world, beginning from within your own heart. Many times, we put up with draining people due to, to feelings of guilt, being too involved with them or believing they will eventually change. Enlightened people make room for positive connections by recognizing which relationships may hinder their personal development. Long-standing toxic patterns are unlikely to improve with further investment. At times, the best approach is to slowly distance oneself without harboring any ill feelings. Start noticing how much time and energy are wasted justifying and responding to repeated disrespect, negativity, or passive aggression. Emotional residue may linger after interactions come to an end. Notice how your true self fades away when you find yourself getting caught up in frustration rather than feeling inspired. The stress is much greater than the pleasure. 
First, evaluate your practical requirements and determine if they are being fulfilled. Can respect, reciprocation, and support lead to positive dynamics, or is the situation too toxic? If significant changes appear improbable, acknowledge the presence of incompatibility even though you care. Establish more defined limits on the access you provide in the future. Focus on building new relationships that support your aspirations and true self without feeling the need to diminish yourself or be insincere. Those who are meant to accompany you will uplift and celebrate you just the way you are. Avoid spending time with people who belittle aspects of your true self. Although completely severing long-term connections may seem drastic, reducing time and transparency and draining relationships to safeguard your peace is a wise decision. Surround yourself with positive influences that reflect your worth so you can better understand your inner voice. Getting rid of heavy burdens frees up your future. Lesson 12. At times, people may try to shift blame onto you to justify their mistreatment. When someone hurts you with insensitive behavior, broken commitments, or deception, the typical human reaction is to protect their ego by justifying their actions instead of owning up to them. In toxic people, Blame is often shifted onto you in order to avoid taking responsibility. Instead of offering a genuine apology, they tend to become defensive and attack your character when confronted. They point out your flaws, have trouble expressing concerns, or act like they don't know they hurt you. Some go as far as to portray you as the perpetrator in victim. Blaming scenarios. These tactics are used to regain power and protect one's reputation when feeling accused, even if it was not intentional. Responding defensively to criticism only serves to shield a delicate ego rather than uphold the truth. It's common for blame. Shifting to escalate during conflicts with people who have narcissistic, defensive, or manipulative personality traits Avoid believing in untrue stories that suggest your actions led to or justified their mistreatment. Distinguish between intention and impact. Focus on your experience and avoid getting sidetracked by trying to win arguments. Set boundaries in a calm manner instead of reacting impulsively. If patterns of irresponsibility and blame persist despite communication efforts, consider this as an indication of future reliability. Ensure to safeguard your energy and time by establishing boundaries when necessary. We often hold back from following our passions unless they align with society's standards of success, duty, or tradition. We often hold back our unique passions out of fear of criticism. Prioritize only activities deemed productive and conform to societal expectations of respectability. Thriving involves embracing what ignites our spirits rather than mundane duties. What brings you joy or purpose might appear strange, impractical, or even threatening to others. When an activity deeply resonates with you, it means you are connecting with a part of yourself that is yearning to be expressed. Approach it with curiosity instead of seeking logical explanations. Your job is to discover and bravely respect genuine motivations rather than trying to force hobbies to fit into predefined formulas or mental constructs that determine what is considered meaningful. Feel free to delve into various aspects beyond just defining identities. Let your inner inspiration lead your growth, even if it goes against traditional norms. What others think does not impact the validity of the inner voice saying, this is right. Our greatest achievement comes from combining all the separate parts of ourselves into a complete whole. Suppressing any aspect of one's personality can lead to a disconnect with one's true self. Embracing your unique wiring brings about freedom. Dive wholeheartedly into whatever sparks your passion without feeling the need to explain. Justify or measure it. The logic behind pursuing joy is what enriches life's adventures. Don't limit yourself to others' expectations. Instead, fully embrace who you are. Sandra was upset that her boyfriend had to cancel their last-minute honeymoon plans, so she talked to him about it. 
He changed the story and accused her instead of saying sorry. She was too needy for him. And he felt like she had power over the relationship. He was being suffocated by her desire to spend their anniversary with him. Sandra felt guilty, not vindicated, when she left the talk. Sandra later realized this was a pattern. Every time she told him she felt bad about him breaking promises, he put the blame back on her. He used the fact that she had good reasons to want to be with someone as proof that she, not him, was the problem. Sandra finally agreed that the way he was acting was not fair. He was shifting blame to escape taking responsibility for letting her down, and she knew it. Even though it hurt, Sandra could now see the truth instead of taking in what he said. She took a cool approach to the situation and decided that if he kept blaming her instead of saying sorry, it showed that he didn't respect her. Sandra hoped he would admit what he did wrong so they could move on. When he kept using the same reasons, she knew what to do and left. He tried to explain being mistreated by changing the story, which showed that he didn't want to take responsibility for what he did. Sandra's self-esteem returned when she realized she was moving blame. Lesson 13. A significant and impactful figure. People will have a lot of different ideas about who we are and what we bring to the world. For some, we are truly inspiring forces that push them to do great things and have a purpose. Others see us as pointless fun that doesn't deserve respect. How different people experience us says more about how they see the world than it does about how much we are worth. Each person's biases, wounds, and limits shape how they understand things. We have no say over how our appearance affects their projection screen, and we can't take it personally. Focus on living and leading from your greatest values, instead of trying to get approval or worrying about what other people will think. Show kindness to everyone and believe your inner guidance about what to do next. Some people might not see your light. But don't change your mind about honoring your gifts, even if no one sees or benefits from them. Of course, keep an open mind to helpful criticism from experienced people. But if you know you have good goals, don't let negative opinions take over your self-esteem. Take care of your mental health while you get stronger against random cruelty. Have faith that the right people will appreciate what you've done at the right time. You can't change first views, but you can choose who shapes your self-story. Write your story from a smart place of careful self-examination, not from the careless comments of other people. Some people might think your work is brilliant, while others might think it's crazy. In either case, be yourself without needing approval from other people. A lot of people who are actually good feel nervous pressure to show off their moral credentials that prove they are good at everything. They worry a lot about not making mistakes, take advantage of chances to show their virtues, and are afraid of being called liars if their actions go against what they say they believe. But acting fake shows that you are insecure more than it shows that you are honest. Truly good character shows itself through consistent actions that are in line with ethics, not through loud claims that have nothing to do with actions. People who are obsessed with showing how good they are often overcompensate because they don't feel good about their own worth. Instead of trying to get approval through displays, you should first work on developing virtues inwardly through meditation, emotional intelligence, and noble goals that guide your actions in the outside world. Forced impression management doesn't work as well as right inspiration. Wisdom cares less about being seen as good and more about being able to see clearly what being good means right now. Keeping your ethics definitely means being honest and admitting when you've done something wrong. Restorative justice, not public relations, is still the main focus, though. So be honest and humble, and let your actions of kindness speak louder than words of apology. When your sense of self-worth is stable, you don't feel the need to prove how good you are. 
Your daily actions will show that you are good enough without any outside approval. Behave honorably to leave a legacy that fits with your standards. But let go of the need to use that behavior to change how people see you. When you forget to think about shining, your character will shine the most. Lesson 14. Don't bother explaining yourself. When we are unfairly judged or criticized, our first reaction is to defend ourselves by fiercely explaining how our actions and points of view were misunderstood. We really hope that making things clear about context and goals will ease tensions, especially when it comes to family and friends. But there are people who choose to do everything. You know you've hit a brick wall when, no matter how calmly, carefully, and compassionately you explain nuances, they accuse you of something that has nothing to do with what you said. They attack instead of taking in. They make it impossible for the other person to communicate because they filter all messages through skewed views. It's pointless and crazy to try to reason with people who aren't logical. If someone is looking at you through a rigid lens and doesn't want to change, no amount of argument, vulnerability, pleading, or anger will help. In their view, identity is more important than facts. Don't waste your time trying to change how some people see you. They can't be changed on a story they keep reading. Let go of the need for explanations to make sense and accept their bounds. They don't have to agree with your truth. Instead, lead by example and act in a way that is honest and in line with your morals. Stop wasting your mental energy trying to break up. Keep your peace by limiting who can get to you. You will only feel better about your self-worth if you try to change people's minds and make them ready to understand. It's easy to criticize and give comments without being asked, pointing out where other people can improve. When looking at someone else's decisions and ways of living, advice is easy to come by. But the need to fix others often hides the fact that we don't want to look at ourselves. People around us are fixated on fixing things because they are insecure. It is much easier to look at other people's flaws than it is to look at our own inner baggage that makes us judgmental. Picking on friends, family, and co-workers takes your attention away from the deep work you need to do. People who constantly criticize, give advice without being asked, and keep an eye on others' limits usually have trouble standing up for themselves, communicating clearly, and respecting others' privacy. Their problems with control make them focus too much on how those close to them need to be fixed. Getting angry or criticizing them back doesn't get to the heart of why they are being so invasive. Enforcing clear limits on unwanted feedback is a more empowering method of reaction. Set limits without getting angry or trying to find fault with the other person. We can only find a long-term answer by honestly assessing our flaws and politely addressing our growth opportunities. We can't live together peacefully until we get rid of the fear that makes us want to criticize others. For progress, you need to learn to accept yourself so that you can show kindness to loved ones who aren't perfect, instead of expecting them to be perfect. Final lesson. Stop caring, start getting. The strange ideas and methods in these pages are meant to help you stop worrying too much and thinking too much about everything. You can make more mental space to fully follow your dreams if you purposefully care less about things you can't change. If you learn how to be detached, you can act based on your highest goals instead of what other people think. Bold leaps are possible when you take inspired action and let go of your fixation on the result. You get everything you want if you care a lot about your growth and what you can do to help others and not so much about praise, fame, and approval. I want you to go over the most important lessons again and start using them to get rid of the fears that are holding you back. Try seeing rejection and loss as chances to learn instead of as personal attacks. Believe that the right opportunities will come your way even if you don't know what to do right now. You definitely have what it takes to make your life amazing. Don't wait for permission or the right time. You need to trust yourself more than you need a perfect plan to reach your goals.
don't worry about what might go wrong. Start taking inspired steps that will help you become the person you were meant to be. The rest will happen on its own. Now go out there, let your purpose guide you, and worry less about problems. Then be sure to get everything you want.